population increase, not being taken account of. Uh, if you can give us some help as to what is the population increase as you see it, or what sort of proportion is it going to change the nature of the Northwest need, and so on. That's the first question. The second question is, do you think it is a remotely sensible to be closing facilities before you have in place adequate alternative equivalent provision? So those are the two questions that you can ask. Sure. Um, you know, I can't give you an exact percentage or a number of population growth um, due to the, the redevelopments of all the and that entire part of the um, London because you know, it's, it's, it's an early stage. You know, this is something that I believe is going to be managed by a mayoral development corporation, I think that's the right term. And who knows how many properties and residents that will um, result in an increase of. However, we know it's going to be very, very significant. And because there's uncertainty, you know, I don't know, I don't think anyone knows for sure how that will play out through the planning process and the development process. You know, there has to, the NHS has to take into account that degree of uncertainty. I think the way the NHS works is they're planning for what they envisage the situation to be now and a reasonable extrapolation of that in the future. And then if increased demand comes from a development such as this, or just general development in Northwest London as a whole, you know, they will then react appropriately. And they would argue that you know, this is five years and four more into the future. You know, they would have adequate time to do that. But from, you know, as a elected councillor in um, this borough, I would like to see more contingency and, and more planning being put in place to take into account um, those, those changes and any other large developments in, in London. You know, it's not North West London, but it's a very large development, um, the Baxter Power Station, for example. And the second part, could you just remind me of the second part of the question? Yes, is it sensible to be closing facilities before you have in place an alternative equipment? In a perfect world, no, of course it's not advisable to be closing any facilities until you're absolutely sure that um, the replacement services are operational um, and are running well and are better than what is being proposed for closure. I think that is clear that there was a, a failure in that regard um, at Northwood Park. Um, yeah. With regard to the Hammersmith and, and the changes to the emergency provision there, I think from a clinical perspective, from, from the recommendations of the independent review panel, and from a situation that developed by accident in many ways, not by design, the provision of emergency medicine, because of the, the lack of emergency consultants, it was becoming clinically unsafe. And I think that was a situation that, and the, you know, the leading emergency consultants at, emergency medicine consultants at Imperial will tell you was a situation they were feeling was unsafe, and that is going to potentially put patients' lives at risk and also reduce the, the quality of the outcomes that they would receive. So I think from that perspective, there is a, a strong clinical justification for the changes that are happening. 